guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Michaela, again, and today is a huge day because I'm finally upgrading my stupid broom. I do have a Dyson, but nothing is quite as effective as a traditional Asian broom. I personally think that it is the best broom on the market, so that is what we're going to set out today to go find. But before I can go get this broom, I have to take my dogs to the vet because they're still puppies and they need their last rabies shot. So we're just gonna get all the vaccines done today and then we're gonna do a little test. Boys, we're going to the vet. You get a vaccine and you get a vaccine and you get a vaccine. Beverly Pet Clinic. Yeehaw. We are about three minutes late, but that is a-okay. So here's the story. Uh, I just want to clear things up about the dogs. When I first scheduled the appointments for them, their names were Coco and Junior, but they've since changed to Smokey and Kubrick. The story behind Smokey's tan brother is that we gave him a new home with our friend who recently moved into an apartment on his own, but Kubrick is still here. He's actually in the back seat right now. I have a really sad story. <laughs> if I'm even gonna be like a dog mom. I don't know if I lost the hat. I don't know if someone's gonna come and take the hat from me because I dropped him. It's just so messed up. I'm sorry, Kumba. Well, all's well. He's good. You can actually come on in since you have to make the payment. Okay. Um, so when I first made the appointment, since then we changed their names, but I just never told you guys that we changed their names because I just, I don't know. But yeah, they have different names now, so. Okay. We are going to get a broom today. I am going to get a broom today. I'm finally going to replace my little tiny white broom. I was gonna say white person broom because I don't wanna be controversial. Basically, my whole life growing up, I only ever swept the floor with the rice broom. It's so lightweight and it's so easy to use and it dusts while it scoops up the dirt. Like, I'm gonna put it to the test today. Once we find out the results, you're going to want to go down to your nearest Asian market and pick one up. We're gonna go into this H Mart and we're gonna go find this Asian broom. It's gonna be awesome. Let's go. They're watching us and they don't want me to be recording. We're about to leave. So it doesn't look like the broom they have is the right broom. It's like something up there. But I, I don't know. I need to see it so they're gonna take it down for me. Oh man, that's not what I'm looking for. We have no rice broom here. All that plastic stuff. So I guess it's not just a white person broom after all. This is the number one Asian American supermarket in the USA. There's no rice broom here. We just came upstairs and we found this Daiso. Maybe they have a broom in there? I'm really determined to go home with a broom, so it would be really disappointing if we didn't find one. Let's go look. Mopping slippers. So all we got is a dustpan. That's not what we want. <sighs> I'm kind of depressed because I really don't want to go home without this broom. I had a friend suggest Chinatown, so I'm going to head over there even though it's like nearly six miles away. I don't, e I don't even think I'm going the right direction. I'm not even going the right way out the parking garage, so I'm just gonna reverse. That is not the exit. Okay, so obviously my mom is from the Philippines. She was born in Quezon City in Manila, and my mom would task my younger brother and I with going around the different Asian markets to find the stuff that my grandma wanted from the store and my grandma is a huge shopaholic, so if she was with us, we would end up looking at literally everything in the store. Now that I'm shopping for this broom, going to all these stores and looking at all of the different stuff in there is kind of nostalgic for me. Look at that, we're almost downtown. I almost want to take this exit. <laughs> that looks like a lot of traffic anyway. I don't want to wait in that. I'm just gonna follow the signs to historic Filipino town. Where are the Filipinos? That's what I want to know. Where are the Filipinos? Look at that. Historic Filipino town. Good night. 
Okay, that's fine. I'm just gonna continue my destination to Chinatown. Okay. <laughs> I was not doing that for the camera. I didn't think you were gonna see me doing that. Sometimes when I'm really tired, I have to sit on my hand and pretend it's not my hand. I don't know, it just it helps. I feel a lot more awake now. Chinatown, Chinatown. <laughs> Those are not the brooms, okay, okay. Keep it going, right there. Those are the brooms. Those are the brooms. Self part, oh shit. Yay, we found the broom and I made it to Chinatown. I have never been here before, so I'm gonna explore a little bit and then pick up the broom last. Pick up the broom last. The brooms were $4 each and the lady really wanted me to buy these slippers, so I just got them. So another thing about my grandma, she literally would always wear different hats like this. And also, her house was full of these kind of pillows. It was like very nostalgic. I'm really embracing my grandma today because like she was seriously so obsessed with plants and buying things that weren't on her grocery list. This was totally essential, I love it. Okay, let's go, let's go. Finally got the broom! <gasps> no! They closed at 4 p.m. I heard this was the best bakery in Chinatown. I do like that sign that says protect our elders. Give me your hand. Form of respect in Filipino culture. I always had to do that when I would greet my grandpa. Oh, really? Yeah. As much as they did for us, was just like, koya and there. That's brother and sister, bro. But just like for anyone older, you didn't do that? Here's the thing about my experience with Filipino culture. My mom grew up in the Philippines. She immigrated to the US when she was 18 years old. And her dream from a very young age was to be American. So when she got here, she wanted to be very good at English. She didn't want to have an accent and she wanted her kids to be American. She didn't want us to know Tagalog. She definitely didn't teach us. I would always be so confused from a young age because I just was like, oh, I think I'm American. And I asked my mom one time, what's my ethnicity? And she was like, you're American. You are not Filipino. You are not Asian. You are not this. You are American. So then when it came to like using like Ate or Kuya, of course we sometimes used them. And I called some of my aunties Tita, but yeah, it wasn't super common Tagalog in my family. All right guys, so it's been a few days since I got the brooms from Chinatown. I have finally been able to put them to use. The first broom that I opened is actually Smokey Approved. He really uh, did a number on this one. Luckily, I got some backup brooms. I have this one today that is brand new, still in the wrapper. What I'm gonna do is show you the breaking in process and what I do to get it ready for using it inside the house. Definitely don't skip this step. show you some useful things you can use this broom for. All right, so this is a traditional, conventional American broom. When I go to try and clean up the mess that Smokey made underneath my couch by chewing up the other broom, I'm really like limited by my arm movement and also by the surface area on this brush. That is actually an advantage of this broom where it's obviously a lot longer and then I have all of this surface area that's gonna help me get like traction on the dirt and the dust underneath the couch and just pull it all out. But I'm gonna go in with this broom and pull all of that stuff out from underneath the couch from the other broom. So obviously I was able to get all of this stuff out from under the couch, but as you can see, if this is a lot more spread out and I try to like get it with this, it's like more work because I'm really only getting the traction on the end of the broom versus having the traction on the entire broom when it's either parallel to the ground or just the edge. I feel like this broom is way more efficient at dusting as it sweeps than this broom is. So if I really wanted to go under here and get all this dust out, it's not really efficient for just going in one clean sweep. This broom, on the other hand, 
can just really go in there and get out everything. So when you really need to get under those hard to reach places, this broom is gonna be your best friend. It's gonna be really good at getting underneath your oven, underneath your fridge. It's gonna get all that dust too. All right guys, this broom is a super easy and inexpensive way at only $4 to elevate your housekeeping game and embrace the East Asian culture of doing things. Go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell to follow me on my journey as I continue to reignite my Panay fire and embrace my mother's culture as a Filipino woman. Thank you so much for watching.